since you're a, a bioethicist and you work on ethical issues, I'd really like to kind of pick your, <clears throat> pick your brain about um, some of the ethical issues that I don't really see discussed as much in this, this literature about, um, you know, particularly with NFTs about monetizing private health information and things like people's genomes as, as uh, Professor Church has, uh, has done. Um, so I, I just have a general question for you in this area. And, you know, I know it's, it's, if, it's, if it's too much to, if, if, if it's too big of a question, um, you know, feel, feel free to pass. <laughs> but like, the question really is, is, you know, do you, there, there's, I, I can't quite put my finger on it. But I, I believe that there, there may be some ethical issues surrounding the ability, even the ability of people to monetize and um, to distribute their personal health information and personal data or, and or genomes, right? Um, and I was hoping maybe that <laughs> if, if you've thought about this, if you might, if you might um, kind of if you might kind of like help me understand what what ethical issues could potentially arise as a result of of this, which of course, as a result of people being able to monetize their health data and mm -hmm. their uh, and you know genomes and biological data through NFTs and smart smart contracts and blockchain. Mm -hmm. um, so, do you have any thoughts about that? Uh, about some of the ethical issues that might arise and. And you know, perhaps even how we can avoid some of those problems. Yeah, um, I I know you probably heard of this term called the digital divide, right? So the idea that um, people from less resourced communities um, have a harder time finding access to technologies in the same way that people, you know, more affluent in individuals do. So that means that they reap the benefits of of technologies less, right? So. Um, you can extrapolate that to this use case as well. The idea that let's say that you can monetize your health data through NFTs. Um, first of all, you have to know what the heck an NFT is. I'm not saying more affluent people have any better understanding because I'm not sure that that's the case. But let's say that they have access to technologies or whatever, even have access to disposable income to just explore what the heck they are, you know, um, I think that that's something that uh, can be a real problem because if 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 NFTs are being used, it, let, let's say people are able to use um, to to mint their genomes or whatever kind of health information as NFTs and be able to reap a profit off of it, it becomes highly incentivizing for people who know how to do that. Then people who know how to do that are the ones who are, who are going to be contained in those data sets, you know. Uh, and if they end up being shared with you know Nebula and all these uh, other companies that are incentivizing people to do this. Um, so that skews the data, right? So I think a big, huge issue in ethics and AI and machine learning and, and big data is the quality of data sets and non-bias in data sets. And so if you have a bunch of data sets that are purely, um, not purely, but are over-representing certain demographics who have access to NFTs, you know, and that kind of technology to be able to, to kind of channel their health data into those data sets, then any, any kind of conclusions that are wrought from those data sets is liable to be biased um, in, in a way that probably is gonna disadvantage, um, you know, community, less, less resourced communities who aren't able to have that same understanding or access or interest in NFTs.